Hello, I am Rico Cabello, and this is your Ageless Body Self-Care Guide Operations Manual for Your Body and for Your Mind. And the title of today's session is about cleansing. Now, this is such an important topic these days. I'm sure you probably know that we live in quite a toxic environment these days. We're getting toxins from the air, the water, the food, beauty products, building material products. So we're, we're getting bombarded with toxins all the time. So it's so important to learn about what cleansing really is and what it can do for you and how to do it. And we're very fortunate today to have one of the top experts. Uh, her name is Veronica Wheat, and she is known as Chef V. And she is a private chef, a nutritional therapist, and owner of Chef V. It's a green drink and cleansing uh, program co company that actually did home delivers. So she's offering quite a, a really great service. So Chef V, Veronica Wheat, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Rico. Yeah, come and share your knowledge and wisdom with us. I really appreciate that. So let's just get right into it. And so always the first question is, uh, what really, how, did you, how do you define what, what a cleanse is and, and, and what is the definition of, of cleansing the body? Yeah, so basically our bodies are designed to naturally cleanse and detoxify themselves. Every night when you go to sleep, your cells start going to work, detoxing all the impurities, breaking down foods, getting the nutrients and stuff from the food and really getting rid of the rest of everything. And we come in contact with so many toxins and you know, so our bodies do naturally cleanse. However, in today's world, like you're saying, we are loaded with toxins. I mean, all the preservatives in the food, all the additives, the colors, the dyes, um, you know, uh, and just in beauty products alone, there's 2000 chemicals that some companies are banning and they're not regulated here in the United States. Um, air pollution has lots of toxins. So our bodies, yes, while they do naturally detoxify, there's a lot of things out there that our bodies it's bombarded, it's too much. And so we really do need to give it a break. And so if you're really like a very healthy person and you avoid, you know, perfumes, dyes, um, bad products, lotions, even toothpaste, shampoos, there's so many chemicals and all these things that we're using. So if you, you know, eat really clean and avoid toxins in all these areas, you're a lot better off, but a, you know, 95% of the population is unaware of all of these things. So, they're thinking that things are safe for them and putting them in their body or on their body or in breathing them in or ingesting them. And it's just too much. And your body kind of starts breaking down, right? Autoimmune diseases, diabetes, um, you know, all these different ailments that people are starting to see. So it's important to add cleansing things into your diet. Like lemon water detoxifies the liver first thing in the morning if you're doing that. And you'll notice in the morning when you wake up, your pee might be a little darker, um, you'll have bowel movements, and that's really your body cleansing and detoxifying. So, you know, your body naturally does cleanse, but there's also ways to add more cleansing, detoxifying systems into your Yeah, I, I just want to add to that exactly what you said. Yeah, unless you... Uh... You live on a, on a on a in, on top of a mountaintop somewhere in purified air and have your own organic garden. We're all no matter what we do, you know, even if we eat organic and stuff, we're still getting lots of toxins all the time. So it's so important. And and so talk just a little bit about well, it's all about our immune system, especially these days, you know, with the virus going around and all that. So so all these different toxins. I think an important thing for people to realize that, is that they're cumulative. You, you might say, well, just because I eat this this apple maybe it's got preservatives on so what but the thing is all these things are taught are cumulative all the different ways that we get it and so how does that really work and when we get too much overload then our immune system breaks down and then it, it can is that what happens yeah i mean everyone's really different and how they hold on to toxins especially like if you exercise a lot that's really helps detoxify the body so if you're exercising and eating well you're naturally um, cleansing your body in certain ways. Um, but, you know, a lot of people, they're not, you know, exercising and they're eating really horribly and they're using, you know, all these lotions and perfumes, dyes, air fresheners. I mean, there's so many chemicals and people think, oh yeah, I'm going to spray Febreze around my house to make it <laughs> smell good. And you're, you're inhaling, you know, 
chemical toxins into your body. Um, so there's just so much that's out there. And I think a lot of people think that, you know, things are regulated and things are safe for them just because they're on a store shelf when that's completely far from the truth. So your body, you know, but we're, we're not infinite beings. Your body has limits. And when you're putting so many toxins, you know, cigarette smoke, lots of alcohol, like it, it can only handle so much. And then you get, might get lung cancer or liver cancer or something like that. So um, by, you know, helping to cleanse and take breaks from certain things, not saying you can never have a drink in your life. It's just, you know, if you're going to drink, make sure the next morning you're having lemon water, cleansing, something healthy, a smoothie, nice salad. If you want to eat pizza, then make sure you're having like for dinner, then make sure you're having something healthy for lunch. That's kind of cleansing, detoxifying. So it's all about balance. It's really hard to avoid everything and it's not going to be fun if you're not enjoying your life, but you do have to balance everything out for the well-being of your immune system. Otherwise all your right. body will start shutting down. Very well said. Uh, so what are some of the main benefits that you've seen from, uh, from doing uh, cleanses? So, I mean, I have developed different sorts of cleanses. Um, I have like, you know, a whole like three, five, seven day cleanse where you're not having any sort of like solid foods. You're just having green drinks, protein shakes, and soups. I can go into that more later. Um, but I also, what I really practice and preach is just having a green drink every day, first thing in the morning for breakfast. Um, that way it's the first thing you're putting in your body. It's the first thing processing through your liver, through your colon and helping you cleanse and detox. Um, sorry, what was the question again? I kind of got off track. But. Oh, no, that's a really good point of doing that first thing in the morning. So, so you actually cleanse your liver so your liver is ready for whatever else it might have to deal with right d during the day. Yeah, well, oh, the question, what, have, what have I seen from the cleanse? From the yeah, okay. yeah so some of the benefits, yeah. Yeah, so some of the benefits. So, I mean, I've had people that have done a three-day cleanse rid themselves from autoimmune medication in just three days. Someone who's on oh. autoimmune medication for five, ten years, I had a guy that had gout on his leg, huge gout on his leg for 10 years. He did a three-day cleanse. It completely melted away. And it's, it's miraculous because it's like, wow, if you're just giving your body this little break, your body is, is amazing. It does miraculous things. I mean, the body can live on top ramen, cigarettes, and Coca-Cola. It can survive. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not going to be thriving, yeah. but that's how miraculous the body is. Yeah. And so when people, you know, just give it this little reset, this little break. And I'm not saying don't eat, don't do like lemon water and cayenne for three days, like giving your body nutrients and just taking a break from all of the crap, the toxins, the alcohol, the gluten, the dairy, the, the processed meats, all of these things, your body really can function at its best. And so that's, you know, things I've seen from just from people doing like a three day cleanse. But I've had people that do the green drink every day, not just like a full cleanse. They have food, they live their normal life. But just by having the green drink every day, I've seen people rid themselves of adult acne, rosacea, eczema. I've had people lose 245 pounds or one person, sorry, what, what my biggest testimonial, he's lost 245 pounds wow. in like 14 months. <laughs> and his whole life has been changed. I've had another lady who did the green drink for a year she had type two diabetes, she had Graves disease, and she rid it completely just by implementing a green drink wow. daily, which is just, you know, basically cleansing, detoxifying your body, giving your body this influx of nutrients. And the most important is empty stomach. That way your body can absorb everything and your cells can get the most benefit from it. So I've seen a lot of amazing things. I could go on for hours. Um, yeah. and, and I have tons of testimonials on my website and Facebook and Yelp. So yeah. It works. <laughs> yeah. It uh, we'll talk a little bit about what, what are some of the uh, plant-based foods or, or just different uh, plants and herbs and things that are cleansing to the body. So, you know, in my drink, I use seven certified organic greens and I've chosen these specific greens because each one has a different function. These are not like the only healthy foods that you can use. There's tons more and I can go a little bit into that, but specifically for my drink, I use green and black kale because they are the highest phytonutrient greens on earth. And the phytonutrients help fight free radicals in the body, which combat cancer. Um, we also have green shard, which helps, you know, control your cholesterol and um, the collard greens help regulate your blood sugar. Dandelion greens specifically cleanse the liver. Um, parsley has folic acid. 
And the green leaf lettuce is great for like your hair, skin, nails, even your teeth. Um, and then have a little healthy dose of the apple, which also is healthy to have a little apple in your diet. Yeah. Well, I'm actually a testimony for you as well, because as you know, well, you're a friend of mine and I've, you've actually contributed some of your green drinks to some of the uh, workshops and things that I've put on here in San Diego. And I've, I've had your, your, your green drinks quite often. And I have to say they're, uh, they're the best tasting ones too. You know, look, you know, whenever I try to make my own green drink and I put it in the blender and put all the stuff in, it just always comes out like, oh man, I can hardly get it down. But yours always, you got the formula down. It tastes, I mean, it, it, it tastes, actually it tastes good and it's smooth and easy to drink. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, there's also tons of other foods that are really healthy, cleansing, detoxifying, um, you know, anything green is going to be great in your diet. Um, ginger is great, garlic, onions, um, you know, berries are great. They have lots of antioxidants. Um, you know, there's tons of other foods that are out there. I actually do, during COVID, I've done like a, um, an immune boosting workshop that I've gone live with and um, talked about different foods and how to get more of them into your diet and why why you should get them in your diet and just easy ways in order to include them in. So um, yeah, there's tons of foods that are detoxifying. You can even just Google, you know, cleansing foods, detoxifying foods, and just try and get more of those into your diet. Not saying like, that's the only thing that you can eat or should eat. You should just eat more of that. Well, what, would you, what would you recommend for someone who's never done a cleanse at all and, and say, okay, maybe I need to do something uh, I should try something. What would you recommend? How, how would they get started? So typically when people come into my store or call or, you know, reach out to me through the website or whatever, um, and they want to do a cleanse and a lot of people say, Oh, I want to do seven day cleanse because I want to do get the most benefits. And I just say, you know what, why don't you start with a three day cleanse? I put you on a two day pre cleanse of elimination diet, no caffeine, alcohol, no red meat, no gluten, no dairy. Not saying you can never have that. Just again, just giving your body a little break from that. And I mean, most people lose like five pounds on the pre cleanse alone and they just feel great. Like their stomach is flatter. They have more energy, more vitality. And then I have them do a three day cleanse because you know what I say? Like Anyone, you can do it. Anyone can do anything for three days. It's, it's pretty simple. By day two, you're more than halfway through. And um, I do give you everything that you need for the cleanse. You get four 16 ounce green drinks a day, two protein shakes a day, and then a yummy detox soup at night, which by the time you get to that soup, it tastes like a steak because it's so, <laughs> you're, you're, yeah. you're so ready for it. Yeah. Um, and if people, you know, I always tell people it's, it's your cleanse, listen to your body. Um, if you need to add something into the day, like if you're just like, oh my gosh, I just, I'm not going to make it. Um, most of the time it's in your head and we're, you know, we're so conditioned to have breakfast by this time and lunch by this time and dinner by this time because of society. Um, and so I tell people, you know, just be easy on yourself. If you need like some raw nuts or some like fresh vegetables, or even just like a clean piece of protein at the end of the day, um, you know, make it your own. But the purpose of cleansing Basically, you don't really want to have as much as many solid foods because your body is usually always busy breaking down foods and digesting foods and assimilating. Where do the proteins go? The carbohydrates, all these things, and 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 you know, then getting rid of the waste. Um, and so that takes a lot of work and energy for your body. And so at night, you know, your body really gets this break, and that's when the most miraculous things happen mm -hmm. in your body is at night when you're sleeping. Um, you know. You, you, if you're young, you're growing in your sleep, um, you know, your body's detoxing and doing all these things. So basically when you're doing my three day cleanse, you're kind of just extending that process and everything that we serve is blended, not juice. So you're getting all the fibers, but it is blended so that your body doesn't have to really break it down and die and work so hard to digest it. And when your body is not working so hard to digest things, it can go and do use all that energy to do a, an other amazing miraculous things like, rid that guy of gout that he had for 10 years mm. or you know help the immunity build itself back up and so you know that's kind of what the purpose of cleansing is so i tell people you know if you can try not to eat anything other than what we provided you um but again don't make it miserable don't like feel like a failure and then just give up because oh i had to have a piece of 
chicken or, you know, some nuts or something, just keep going. I mean, you're still doing way better than you would have if you wouldn't have done anything at all. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, I found too that sometimes when you, when you, you think that you're hungry, you really maybe are thirsty and just drink some water sometimes or, Definitely. or, or go for a walk or something, just you know, brush your teeth, right? Mm-hmm. And then you don't feel like eating anything. So there's all kind of little things that you can do. But yeah, if you can, again, I, I like what you said, you don't have to be so strict and think that you just lost it all. You know, anything you do is better than nothing. But, but if you, don't you find too that if you can get through, if you want to do a little bit longer one, uh, once you get through about three days, it gets a lot easier, doesn't it? Yeah. And I mean, I have so many people that tell me, oh my gosh, by day three, I could go like, I could go two more days. And I always tell people, cool, if you live around here and you, why don't you do the three days? If on day three, you're feeling like a million bucks, come back, we'll give you two more days and you can keep going on the five day cleanse. But a lot of it's mental. And if you're thinking I have to do five days by day three, you're like, oh God, I'm not even, you know, I'm barely halfway done. It's, it's mental. And that's where a lot of people can choke up. But if you're listening to your body and really, you know, paying attention to what it's telling you because your body will tell you what it needs and what it wants. I mean, your body tells you when you're hungry, your body tells you when you need to go to the bathroom. A lot of times people don't listen to their body. And just like you said, with the water, I mean, I nutri- I'm a nutritional therapist and I counsel a lot of my clients um, in their health journey. And you'd be surprised 90% of people do not drink enough water, yeah. not even close. And I had an, even a client that said, you know, oh, I definitely drink enough water. And so I have the scale that I would bring around if I'm, if I'm counseling them in person, most of the time it's, you know, via Zoom or telephone. And um, it tells you what your body water percentage is. Mm-hmm. And this, this woman who thought she <laughs> was getting enough, she was at, she was way under the percentage. It was supposed to be around 50 to 60%. And she was about 42. And she was really shocked. Said, well, that's so strange. And then we got to the bottom of it and she was counting the green drink and her her like uh, collagen teas that she was drinking as water. And I said, no, as soon as you mix more than one ingredient with water, it's no longer you know water. Um, you need to be just drinking water. And um, so, you know, it's just an example of why people are so confused and they don't really, you know, there's not really like this book that you're handed as a child or even an adult that tells you, this is how you need to eat. This is what we need to do. You need to have this much water. There's just so much noise out there about nutrition and what to eat, not to eat. Don't eat gluten. You got to be vegan. You know, you can't eat after seven o'clock. Uh, there's just so much noise out there. And it's, it's really not that hard. Um, but the food industry has made it extremely hard. And the diet world has made it extremely harder for people to be healthy and, and be successful in their food journey. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's what this project's all about. Trying to, you know, I'm getting all experts and people who I know <clears throat> that really have concern for their, you know, for their patients and their customers, and, 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 and it's all information that you can trust. That's what this, this 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 project that you have is all about, giving you the right information so you so you can get over the, get past all the all the misinformation and the overwhelm, and you'll know exactly the best ways to care for your physical body. So. Uh, one more question is uh, how often do you recommend people do a cleanse so again this is a question that i get all the time um, especially when people have great success on the cleanse and you know for me like i don't really do like a three-day cleanse that often i've probably the last time i did one was like two or three years ago and you might think what chef v doesn't do a three-day cleanse but that's because I'm doing something for myself every day. And that's the most important thing. The reason why I created the cleanse is because yes, it works and it has, people are successful, but really the success and lifelong changes come with what you're doing every day. So, you know, I have, make sure that I have a green drink or something very healthy first thing and I put in my body. So if I'm traveling, I either try and find some place to make a smoothie or if the hotel will make something or if not, I go into the grocery store and get a piece of fruit or I eat a salad for breakfast. No one's ever taught us to eat vegetables for breakfast. Have you ever seen a salad on a breakfast menu? No. You have cereal, pancakes, eggs, bacon, toast, lots of carbohydrates. And what that really does is puts your body kind of more at a halt. It's not really helping your metabolism speed up and turn on. But when you're giving your body live living nutrients, 
vegetables, salad. I mean, the other day I had a Thai salad left over in my refrigerator. I'm, I'm in a hotel right now in New Jersey and I didn't have my green drink, even though my store is not far, but I had to do some work in the morning and I was hungry. So I took the Thai salad out. I just started eating the cucumbers and the carrots and the lettuce out of there. And that was my breakfast. And then I can wait till lunch and I can be a little bit more lax and have, you know, a sandwich or a piece of pizza or something. It's not like you have to eat that way for every single meal. Just try and get more of those nutrients in your body. And the most important, like I said, is first thing. What are you putting in your body first? Because that's the first thing after your body has worked so hard all night to cleanse and detoxify, then you're going to shove it down with like bacon and you know, uh, sugary <laughs> orange juice, like that's right. just not really beneficial. And it's really gonna, you know, make your body have to work harder in order to cleanse and detoxify itself. But if you're putting something healthy in that is cleansing or detoxifying, first thing, again, you're prolonging that cleansing process that your body is naturally doing. And you're, you're, you're helping aid that cleanse and detoxification process. Yeah, that's, that's good information. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I just want to add, yeah, I think the point what you were making really was, you know, if you if you do a cleanse and then you go back to eating all kind of junk food and don't and, and, and don't change your lifestyle habits, then yeah, you're going to get real toxic again real quick and you're going to need to do it again a lot sooner. But even if you're trying to do like you said, you know, have some green drinks every day and 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 be as healthy as you possibly can, a lot of people recommend uh, doing a, a a cleanse with the, with the change of the seasons, maybe like four times a year. It's, it's kind of a good thing to do. But I agree with you, you know, I, I try and do on a daily detox, you know, I exercise and sweat and, and uh, you know, you know I say drink the lemon water, drink green things. So if you do that, if you incorporate that into your lifestyle, you don't have to do a regular full on cleanse uh, quite so often. Yes. And to, to further answer your question, sorry, I get a little sidetracked and excited. Um, yeah. So when people ask me, you know, how often can I cleanse? I really say, you know what, it is everyone's different. And if I've learned anything in the 10 years I've been doing this, I know that everybody is different. Everyone's different in the way that they cleanse, in the way they detox, in the toxins that they've held on to, in the amount of toxins, and the different toxins that they've ingested or taken throughout their life. So some people are way more toxic than others, and they probably do need a nutritional reset more often. And they're probably not taking care of their bodies in between these three-day cleanses or whatever. Um, so, you know, when people ask me, okay, can I do a cleanse like every week? You know, that's probably not a healthy option. Uh, you know, your body does need calories. It does need nutrients to survive. The cleanse is low calorie, but it's very high nutrient. Um, so yeah, you know, I rec I tell people, you know, maybe every three months, twice a year, at least, you know, maybe once a year doing something to just kind of nutritional reset. You know, some people they'll just take, you know, January and they do no alcohol for January. And that's, that's a perfect example of a nice little cleanser or reset. There's different ways. It's not just, you know, one magic, you know, potion that, that works, but mine, you know, has had great success and, you know, I highly recommend people try it if they are feeling toxic or, you know, maybe they've been on medication in the hospital or something like that. There's so many things that everyone has a different journey. And um, I'm happy to always, you know, answer anyone's questions. If they do have questions about their specific needs, um, you can always email chefv at chefv.com and we're happy to, you know, assist you and, and tailor or something that works for you. Yeah, it's so well, so well said. So that's really good information, uh, Chef V. Thank you so much. And uh, on that same note, I will remind you that uh, this video training comes with a PDF. So you have the transcription so you can read it. And we definitely always recommend that you go to all of our experts' uh, websites. They have lots of information there. So, quite often they have free gifts for you. They have special offers. Uh, I, I know Chef V does. And, and they're there also to give you some coaching, to give you some training or give you some help, you know. So we really recommend that you stay in touch and, 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 and really keep on learning from our experts. And it's because, you know, being healthy and, and creating wellness is an ongoing process. It, it, it's a lifetime process. And so uh, we just stay connected to all this great information and, and we're all learning as we go as well. So you'll, as you stay connected with our experts, you'll be up, updated with all the latest scientific information and things that can really, really help you uh, achieve optimal health and wellness. And that's what this, again, this whole project's all about. So Chef V, that was so good. Thank you for that great information. I really appreciate it. 
You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And again, if anyone needs anything, you can email, reach out. And I also have our website, chefv.com. Uh, we do 50% off your first order on cleanses. Also our green drink subscription, which is a monthly uh, subscription to our juice. And it comes every week, like the modern day milkman. And yeah, it's a 100% money back guarantee on our green drink delivery. So you can taste it, try it out. Or if you're next to one of our stores, we have a store in uh, West Caldwell, New Jersey, as well as San Marcos, California. You can come in, taste the drinks, ask questions, and we're happy to help always. Yeah, and you can find all this information out in the PDF. So once again, uh, thank you, Shafi, and thank you for being here. Thank you.